Okay, this section is double string runs. Okay, what does that mean? Well, you're going to find out in just a second. Things are starting to hot up now, starting to get quicker and more difficult. And so the techniques we need to break down the stuff we're going to review uh, start to get a little bit more intense. Okay, so that's enough uh, gobbledygook from me. Let's get on with the actual lick that we're going to play. So we're going to play a double string run, and that means we're going to work across two strings, which is going to be the high E and the B. Now, before we turn this lick into an actual run, which is going to descend and ascend, okay, we're just going to learn it in one position. So the lick sounds like this. Okay, so let's learn the lick. We go from 18 to 15 on the high E. Then we go 17, 18 on the high E. Okay. Then we go 17, 15. So that whole first part. Six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then we go 18, 17, 15 on the B. Okay, so, so far we have. Then we go 17, 18 on the B. So recapping. And we move over to the high E string and we go um, 15, 17, 18. Then 17, 15. Let's do the thing really slowly and then I think you'll be able to see what's going on fairly easily. Repeat. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is make an exercise with the left hand that only deals uh, just with the left hand, no right hand. If you remember before, by banging on each sort of, you know, note with just the left hand helps with that synchronization. That will be. Now what I'm going to do, you can notice as we go higher, it starts to get a bit harder. If I turn the volume up, there'll be more. Uh, background noise from the other string. So what you can do in a case like this is put your hand here, okay, or you can wrap a towel around it or anything that you want just to dampen off those strings and then that will give you the ability to be able to play this without so much interference. Okay, so that's the exercise that we do. Now, with this lick, we're actually picking kind of an odd amount of notes a couple of times. The first part of the lick on the high E string, we play six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we come to the B string, we play five notes. Two, three, four, five, and then five on the high E. Four, five. So the whole lick is like one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, what you might find, if you've tried to play licks like this in the past and have been unsuccessful, you might find that it's actually quite difficult to play those odd number of notes on the strings. So what I advise you do is isolate the right hand the same way that we isolated the left hand just now. So we had the exercise when we just played the... We played that, okay? Now what we're going to do is actually just damp the strings with the left hand and then... 